Your son, James. He's a good kid. He's a good kid? A, a good kid? Why? Does he help the fucking poor? No. He sits on his ass all day, smoking dope and jerking off while he plays that fucking game. If that's our standard for goodness, no wonder this country's screwed. And what about you? What about me? Hey. I don't have the advantages that kid has. By the time I was his age, I'd already been in prison twice. I robbed banks. I ran whores. I smuggled dope. And you consider them achievements? These were the opportunities I had. At least I took them. And where did these opportunities get you, Michael? They got me right fucking here. The end of the road. With a big house and a useless kid, and I'm stuck talking to you because no one else gives a shit. Oh, I'm living a dream, baby. And that dream is fucked. It is fucking fucked. Let it all out. I think I just did. <sighs> oh. Well, I think that's all we have time for. The same time next week? I guess. Oh. I gotta tell you, I ain't too sure this shit is working for me. Hmm. Well, a sense of overriding futility is a vital part of the process. Embrace it. Whatever you say, Doc. Amanda! Hello! Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out. I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children, you kill people, and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right, I'm deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh, great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael, <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Well, Michael, I see you're back around and making time for your mental health. Yeah, I don't know why I came. Hmm. What do you want, Michael? I don't know. I just... I just want... I want something that isn't this. You know? This caring about two things at once. I mean, I want to be a good dad. Love my family. You know, live the dream. But at the same time... I really want the other stuff, too. I suppose you haven't really considered the fact that by neglecting your therapy, you've guaranteed these behavioral relapses. No, I hadn't considered that. So, pal, what's the source of conflict this time? 
Things are kind of on the uptick, Doc. There's no greater concern than optimism. You know what, Doc? I'm okay. Things have finally come together for me. I mean, I made a bunch of money, and most of those guys that wanted me gone, <laughs> they don't want nothing no more. <clears throat> well, I'm not gonna pretend that my life's not still a mess. I mean, I know I still got a long way to go. You know, with my family, my friends, my aspirations. I mean, I know. I've done a lot of bad things, Doc. I told a lot of lies. But, Doc, I'm hopeful. Oh, I, mm. Don't hide behind hope, Michael. Hope is the enemy of hard work. Any other acting out, friend? Tell me. Sometimes I'm fine, Doc, and sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I'm two different people. You know, I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. I want to be good, Doc, I really do. But then I get angry. Hmm. Anything else? Anything sexual? Look, I made a few mistakes, Doc. Pretty bad ones, but in the last few days, I've been a lot better. Well, I suppose you seeing the problems you cause is progress of a sort. So, I feel like there's progress in some areas and, you know, none in others. That's incredible stuff. I don't think I've ever heard such a barrage of denial, self-justification, and outright horror. The thing is, Michael, here, can we just get a quick photo together? Cheese. What is this? I really think I can't treat you anymore. The fact is... I'm in love with you. The fuck you talking okay, about, Okay, well, Doc? that's not true. <laughs> Good. You're learning. Good. What's going on? Nothing. It's just... I think you need a new therapist. And I'm leaving town. I've got a TV show. I'm gonna be famous. I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> think of the fucking tail. All those fucking bitches who called me pube head. <laughs> oh, they'll be lining up to suck it now. You got a TV show. You! Uh, best not to think too closely about what I just said. It's not like I'll be using real names or anything. <laughs> I'm really discreet. <laughs> Bye now. Fuck. Hey, you tell Dax not to worry. I cracked my tooth and I took my emergency dose. I'm in my KO, man. I didn't tell him anything. <laughs> Oh, fuck, never mind. We gotta get you home. Okay. Hey, can you hotwire this car? Good, we gotta move. I'm afraid our time isn't up yet. Oh, we need to get him out! And I think we're going to get the best results face to face. Oh. What the We've fuck? We've got a lot to discuss. Who the hell are you? Oh, my apologies. My name is Dr. Isaiah Friedlander, PhD. I want us working together. Yeah? Well, what if I shit down your neck instead? <laughs> Coprophagic ideation. Fascinating. I wish we had time to explore it, but I'm afraid I need to expand your mind in another direction. I'm sure you know me from my wildly successful TV special and radio show. But deep down, I'm not just a celebrity. I'm a healer. I see our society in terminal catastrophic psychological decline, and only I can help. Only I have the cure. Psychedelic-assisted therapy with a new drug ten times more potent than psilocybin. That's why I founded the Freed Mind Pharmaceutical Corporation to produce the only medicine that can heal a broken spirit. Oh, that's a job. It'll drive you crazy. With this drug, I can bring peace to all. <laughs> I already have the precursor chemicals, 80% of the world's stockpile. All I need is your friend here. 
He's one of only three people in the world with a PhD in this precise field. Wait, 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 wait. Is this what this is all about? You want Labrack to crank out your shit and who drug on the cheap? I wanted him to be a pioneer, to help me build a temple of peace and sanity deep in the jungles of South America. But I'm afraid his mind is too far gone to be useful to me. Yes! Your other accomplice, on the other hand... Really? Look at me. No, look at him. Come to South America. We'll be rich. Don't oh, look at him. Fuck you. But I'm gonna... Idiots. Degenerates. Do it, Lucha Chairs, boo. You're blind. What's wrong with you? Why can't you see? This was the chair. the only way. All I can see is this is pointless. Your time is up. Lights. What the fuck? Uh. Ow. Sorry. Where is he? Shit, with the car, we gotta move! Uh, uh, Let's fucking move! Uh, 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 I'll drive! I'll drive! I got, uh, okay, guys, let's go! Fly this thing? I do so enjoy our sessions together. But I'm afraid your time is up! Forget him, it's the chemicals we're here for. Can you land this fucking thing or not? 